Boniface joins us from the Mayo Clinic, and today we're talking about how to stay really healthy during the 4th of July and stay out of harm's way. Dr. Boniface is an ER physician, so you've seen a lot out in the field. Yes, we've seen a lot. We see a lot of things come in, especially in the summer around this time of year, uh, both at our emergency department and other ERs around the area, the trauma centers, the burn centers. There's a lot of things to be aware of this time of year that you can do to stay safe and healthy while still having fun. Yeah, and when it comes to the 4th of July, so obviously you think of fireworks. How dangerous are they? Like, do you see a lot of cases of people coming in, or are more people just going to these big shows where they're not, you know, playing with them? Well, both. I mean, obviously, the safest way to enjoy fireworks is to go to a professional or city-sponsored production, which I know we're having a couple here in Jacksonville, so that would be the biggest recommendation to safely enjoy it. Um, a lot of people choose to get fireworks to use privately at their home or backyard, uh, but there's actually a lot of data that's published out there, and we see nationally about 10,000 visits to ERs annually wow. from fireworks. Wow. Now, what about with kids? One of the things that I hear time and time again, the little sparklers. Yes. And from what I understand, they get up to 1,000 degrees yeah, Fahrenheit. at least 1,000 degrees. And, you know, that can be, there's a variety of metals within the pyrotechnics that are contained within the sparklers. You've got iron, magnesium, aluminum, depending on what they are and how they ignite. Uh, and they do project from the stick a little yeah. bit. So, um, you know, no firework is entirely safe, especially for children. Yeah, so that's a really good point. Now, besides fireworks, obviously you have the heat to deal with. It's really hot outside. I'm sure you get a lot of cases of people coming to the ER uh, just from that, heat exhaustion. We really do. I mean, the Memorial Day weekend, I know it was up to 100 degrees here. No rain, no clouds. It was awful. Um, I had several patients in the ER coming either because they were spending too much time outdoors in exertional activities or uh, for certain, particularly older adults or those with medical conditions, on medications, uh, they're not able to regulate their body temperature as well. So yeah. you do need to be really careful. What are some signs, because obviously for the elderly and also for kids, you know, you want to make sure that you are aware of what changes are happening in front of you with them. Mm -hmm. What are we looking for? So you're looking for probably, I mean, if you start to see any signs of confusion, any signs of lethargy, that's a big, big warning flag. You need to see medical attention immediately. Um, there are earlier signs, excessive sweating, um, fatigue, not showing much interest in activities that, like the kids, for example, normally would, um, particularly when the temperature and the humidity are getting way up there. After about 15 minutes or so, you need to stop, you know, take a break, take a drink, make sure you're staying well hydrated. Yeah, so those are great tips. The other one that comes up all the time, and it's so sad, but kids near water. Yes. This time of year, you know, people are having parties and it's really easy to lose accountability with a child and it doesn't take a lot of time or even a lot of water. It doesn't have to be that deep no. for them to drown. Yeah, this is probably the most tragic thing that we'll see in emergency departments. Every year in the U.S. there's about 4,000 drowning deaths between adults and children. And uh, obviously with, with children, uh, you have to keep constant supervision. A responsible adult that's with them at all times, not distracted by their cell phone, not you know using alcohol or any other recreational drugs, called a water watcher is what they really recommend. Yeah. So you can have a party, you can have some people over hanging out by the pool, but at least one person, just like a designated driver, you know, needs to be selected to keep an eye on the water, like a home lifeguard. Yeah, absolutely. That's a really good, you know, pointer. Because again, you know, everybody wants to have fun. We're with family. There's a lot of distractions, especially during the 4th of July, you know. So thank you for all your time and information. We really appreciate it. If you want to learn more, you go to mayoclinic.org. Right now, we're going to send it over to Eden.